Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Thursday, November 17th, 2016. I'm Athen, and this channel is about using the actual constellations in the sky. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so today we have the moon in Gemini in this uh, disseminating phase of the lunar cycle, which does mean that it is a time of using uh, this momentum. All right, there's a bit of momentum from that full moon we had earlier in the week. Maybe some insights, maybe some awareness that has been coming in. And so now it's good to be putting that forward, really implementing that. And again, using this momentum that we could have energetically, but mostly just with the way life is unfolding, right? But it could be energetic as well. Now, the moon in Gemini does suggest a really good time for learning. All right, this is Gemini. This is about inquisition. It's about, uh, you know, learning about life and treating life as a learning playground. You know, seeing that um, when we have that lighter perspective, and if we take each experience with a willingness to learn, uh, what happens? It becomes fun. It becomes playful. And that's what Gemini is all about. Also, a really good time for communication, sharing ideas, because it's not just about receiving information, although it's great, you know, reading books, for example. Um, it could also be expressing that these ideas and sharing our ideas with others, maybe through writing or communication or um, even trading and that kind of a thing uh, makes it an excellent time for this. So that's the moon in Gemini and we do have the sun in Libra. And so still a great time for cooperation, working with others if it is on a relationship level, but all in all, just having balance in our life, right? Seeing if uh, there is any areas that are out of balance that we could be bringing back into balance at this time. So today we do have Neptune conjoining up to the south node has been very significant, still going to be within orb for about the next week. In fact, Neptune is going to go direct uh, this weekend. So things are certainly moving forward with it. But, um, you know, today this emphasis on really making these changes, I mean, this whole week, but today too, making these changes to break any unhealthy patterns in our life. All right. And that's really the fundamental to this conjunction. You know, the South Node is about past unhealthy things. And this is so we can make change to, again, bring balance into our lives. And in this case, it has to do with Neptune. All right, I've been talking a lot about this, but Neptune, most fundamentally, in its unhealthy pattern, is projecting things into the future. Okay, so it might be projecting things in terms of ideals. Uh, it might be projecting things in terms of then our, the response is us wanting to hide away or escape or dissolve into fantasies or, you know, just not be in reality. Um, however, that's manifesting, whether it's the over extreme of Neptune or the under extreme of Neptune. And again, this could have, you know, this could be in different areas of your life and do, do watch your weekly to see which house this is associated with for you to see the what with all this. But fundamentally it's these projections that are dissipating. And the more we are in alignment with that, the more we are willing to be present, to accept things for how they are in the now moment, then we're really on the right side of this conjunction here. So releasing, letting go, giving ourselves really the peace uh, that we all deserve, you know, this beingness to be, and that's where true happiness is found. And uh, that's what's cha transforming here collectively. A lot of it too has to do with what's going on in the world. You know, this is Aquarius, or it might have to do with old ideals about our individualism or who we think we are or who we thought we were having to do with what we feel like we need for our freedom. But do we really need that? Are we identifying with it? Is it the ego? You know, in fact, the South Node is very much associated with the ego in terms of identifying with certain aspects of ourselves. Okay, so this is our beingness. This is beyond the ego. This is about being present, right? Accepting things for how they are, accepting ourselves for how we are, accepting our relationships, you know, everything in our life. And as a result, this is freeing us up. And there is a very powerful transformation uh, occurring with this conjunction uh, this week collectively. But it does, you know, require that acceptance and being. And I think being present is uh, a good way of looking at that. So that's the conjunction. We do have other things going on today, mostly with the moon. Uh, basically, what we've got is, first of all, the moon is in harmony to it, uh, which is nice trining up to it. So it could be maybe quite easy, in fact, to do that sort of releasing and breaking of patterns um, here today, comparatively speaking, with the surrounding days. So there is a lot of support with that. And again, I think it's about maybe what we're learning. Maybe this whole idea of 
we can treat life as a lighter energy of, of a place to learn. And so with that inqu inquisition and that willingness to learn, I think it can be very supportive to that uh, conjunction. Now, uh, the moon is also going to be opposing up to Venus and Pluto with all this. So this is a reminder that, you know, right now it is an excellent time to be expanding our horizons. You know, we can be enjoying this, maybe a bit of adventure. Uh, maybe it's involving those relationships. Venus is, of course, associated with Libra. There's an inspiring side to relationships. There's an inspiring side to our values. And so it's really good to be accessing that. But of course, since Sagittarius does oppose up to Gemini, it's about seeing the possible, you know, Sagittarius possibilities with the practical. How can we merge the two? Uh, because what is possible in our life is something that can be actually implemented, right? We're talking about in our personal lives, right? In other words, if we have open belief systems, great, that's one side of it. But the other side is actually putting it in motion, practicing it, implementing it. And so that's why uh, this opposition can be very powerful when you're bridging the gap between what you might consider the right side of the brain, which is all the possibilities, all the potentials, all the creative thinking, but then you merge that with the left side, which is the practical, all right, and implementing it. So I think that's a great way of working with that opposition here today. Also, I think bringing some attention there to relationships. Uh, so there is balance, again, cooperation, harmony. That might require a bit of extra attention today with the opposition. But again, it's, it's mostly about just keeping things in balance without going to any extremes there, maybe even too with the enjoyments of life, making sure we're staying balanced with uh, those simple pleasures. But um, yeah, and other than that, the moon will be squaring up to Jupiter in the later part. So on a minor note, maybe in the evening, there is these, uh, this sort of pendulation, you know, pendulum sort of swinging with the emotions. Maybe there's inspiration, but then maybe there's lack of inspiration. You know, maybe there's optimism or then maybe there's not. But uh, this is about centered, knowing that yes, there are potentials. Yes, there are opportunities. A lot of things are requiring uh, the working on the details, improving ourselves right now. You know, this is Jupiter and Virgo. Um, so with the challenge there, with the challenge to improve ourselves, with the challenge to improve our lives, improve our projects or whatever it is that, you know, those, those emotions are concerned about or whatever's being involved. I think with that initiation there, that intention, taking steps towards improvement um, is just a really good way of working with the evening. Okay. So all in all, I think the uh, most important thing today is that conjunction with Neptune and the South Node. Again, past patterns being released. Unhealthy patterns with each of us individually and also collectively. But individually asking yourself, is there any over extremes of Neptunes? Again, projections that might be ideals. Or is there under extremes? Maybe there's, maybe there's too much lethargy or apathy, not enough acceptance, which is causing us to retreat or hide away or escape, something like that. And as we are present, as we accept things for how they are, then it frees us up. And that's the transformation process with this conjunction. All right, so I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.